Hello, hello, hello. Hi, hi, hi. This is Miss Carr, and welcome to Learning Physics. Now we're going to study about the geometric optics. And in this lesson, we're going to study on the reflection of light in mirrors, specifically in plane and spherical mirrors. Now, under the spherical mirrors, we're going to study on the concave and the convex mirrors. Now, aside from that, we're also going to study the refraction of light in lenses. Okay, so um, we're going to deal with um, the reflection of, refraction of light in concave and convex lenses. But before we start or before we further study on how light rays um, behaves in mirrors and lenses, let us first compare the two. Okay, so always remember, Balaklas, now when, when we are going to deal with the behavior of light in mirrors, it always reflects. Nag-reflect gina siya per me. And in the lenses naman niya, it always refracts. Nag-pass through gina siya per me, nag-refract gina siya per me. Okay, next is, for lenses, we have two focal points. Tuwa ang iyang focal point. So, makita na siya or malocate na siya on the both sides of the lens. While in mirrors, it has only one focal point and it is located on the object's side. Okay, so in geometric optics, we're going to deal with the mathematical analysis. And because of that, um, we're going to deal with equations. Now, the equations that we're going to use for mirrors will all work in lenses. So, meaning, kung mag-solve na kita using the mirrors, ang tanan to nga formula, mag-solve ta sa lenses, parihas mo na sa gihapon, hindi na kita maglain-lain. So, it's a good thing, kay, um, di na ka mong kinangan mag-saulos ang dami mga equations and what's so on. Okay? Another. So, for the convex lens, Take note nga si convex lens and concave mirror are similar with each other. In what way? So, they are similar in a way that they converge light rays. They both converge light rays, meaning maghama ka converge, ginatipo nila ang light rays. Gina come together nila ang light rays. Okay? And aside from that, they both have positive focal lens. So, later on, mabalaan nyo na siya kung ano na siya si focal lens. As we continue our lesson. Okay? And always remember that convex lens and concave mirror form similar characteristics of images. Parihas na sila ang images na ginahimo nila. Okay? Na now, for the concave lens and convex mirror naman niya, they are both similar in a way that they diverge. Did they diverge light rays? Kung kagi naga converge kita light rays, gina come together for the concave lens and convex mirror naman niya, gina lapta, gina scatter, gina spread nila ang light rays. Siya. That's lang? Okay. And they both have negative focal lengths. And they form only virtual and smaller images. Amo ni ang tandaan kay concave and kay convex, kay concave lens and convex mirror. Nagacreate ni Salaya per me virtual and smaller images. Amo ginaya per me ni na class. Okay? So that's it. Now, let us get to know how light rays um spreads uh in whenever that the source of light is being um lighted up. Kung nagsiga na bi ang atong yung source of light, paano na maglapta ang light rays? So, we have here the ray of light. Okay? And the ray of light is extremely, um, a narrow beam of light. So, meaning, since it's extremely narrow siya, meaning gamay-gamay na siya, hindi na siya makita. Okay? Hindi na siya makita sa naked eye. Okay? Now, we have there the candle and we have there a single light ray. But then, always remember that in your source of light, hindi na na siya single light ray yung mo. It emits light rays in all directions. 
So meaning, kung di inaasta ang siga sa imo nga kanila, asta man dira ang kadamon sa iya nga light rays. Kung paandaran mo ang flashlight, kung ano ang, kung di inga siga ang flashlight, kutog sa ginasigaan ka flashlight, amo man na siya ara, man na light rays. Nagets lang? Okay. So take note that the light rays are going out from the source of light. So di ina sila makanto. Para makakita kita, of course, para madetekta na ang amon ng mga images, those light rays will enter in our eyes. They will enter our eyes, and because of that, we think we see objects. But, the thing is, we don't see objects. Instead, we see images. Image na yaklas ang kakakitaan ta, not object. Okay? So, an example is here. So, images are formed when light rays converge. Again, images are formed when light rays converge. So, kung di in gani matipon ang light or kung di in gani mag-cross or magtabo ay ang light rays, dira na dira, makreate ang image. Ang sinihan? Okay. So, when light rays go straight into our eyes, we see an image in the same spot as the object. Okay? We see image in the same spot as the object. So, kung ano ang panulukan mo, sa kung ano ni siya kalayo ang kandila, halin sa imo, so, sa iyo panulukan, sa iyo ang, ang sa image nga kakakitaan mo, the same man na siya. Okay. So, therefore, if ang muna nga gamit, lantawon mo pala, ang muna nga gamit, consider na niya, of course, as an object. So, pagkakita mo sa iya, automatic, makonsider ta naman na siya as the image. So, it is both an image and an object. Anong image? Nimiss ko lang. Hindi, hindi si Miss Kabalang maging mo image. Spell image. Okay. Okay. So again, ang kando nga ina pagka that is an object. So once na perceive na siya sa imo ang eye, automatic, it will be also considered as an image naman. Okay? So there. Now let us have your mirrors. So, it is possible to see image when converging light rays reflect off of mirrors. So, when there is a reflection of light in the mirror, of course, we can see image just like here in the jar. So, this is the object, of course. The, um, the thing that you can see inside the mirror is an image. Okay? Hindi nga magamba ka lang image, ang picture mo, image na dahil yung na siya yung mga image lang, okay? So, makita mo sa self mo sa mirror image mo na na. So, for the reflection of light, we have here the incident ray. So, this incident ray comes from the source of light. And it hits the mirror and after that, it bounces back. So, the bounced back nga light is the reflected ray. A reflected ray na na siya. So, the angle between incident ray and normal line is the angle of incidence. And the angle between the reflected ray and the normal line is called as the angle of reflection. Gets. Catch. Okay? Next, mirrors reflect light rays. Yes, of course, because again, you cannot see yourself in the mirror. I cannot see myself. I cannot do my... Pangilay session in the mirror without the reflection of light rays. Okay? So, how do we see images in mirrors? So, kung lang tawon ta, here on our um, illustration, on our screen, so, ang mata, imo ni mata. Paminsan rin mo nga imo na di mata. Ang kandila, ala lang sa likudan mo. So, paano mo na siya makita ang kandila sa sulod sa ang espiyo? Okay. So, we have here the light rays that will, of course, hit the mirror. So, these uh, light rays that with, that are approaching in the mirror are the incident rays. So, ang nag-bounce back na lang da iya are the reflected rays. Di in siya nagkanto. 
nagkadto siya sa imong mga mata. Okay, nagsulod siya, na-detect siya sa imong mga eyes. And because of that, na-detect sa eyes mo nga may kandila sa imong likudan. Diyanihan? So, ang object or ang kandila sa imong likod is that object. Okay, that's the object. Now, may nakita ka na nga kandila sa espiyo. Pagkakita mo sa kandila sa espiyo, okay, ang nakita mo din ang kandila is now the image. So, balik ta diri. So, for example, kung lang tawon ta, we have the incident rays and we have here the light, the reflected rays which enters your eyes. So, dira sila sa eyes mo nag-converge. That's why makita mo ni siya ang image. Yung sinihan, That's why makita mo ni siya yung image inside the mirror. Now, so you can perceive this image because of the light rays that comes from the object. But then, if you're going to take a look here on the broken line, this is um, the light rays that, um, this is the imaginary line that allows us to see the image inside the mirror. And this is what we call the sight lines. Sight lines na sila ang atin nga panawag sa broken line. Jinihan? And because of sight lines, we can see those images inside the mirror. Okay? Get lang siya. Mm -hmm. Okay, so moving on, we have here image types. Okay. Now here, on our first example here, malantaw ka lang sa kandila sa inyo bintana. Okay, so you can see this candle in um, using a window. Sa window, nga diretsyo lang siya. Magitaan mo siya, nga diretsyo lang siya. Okay, now, kung lang tawon nyo, this is the candle, we have here the light rays. Nga nag lang siya sa imo mga eyes. Wala siya maging hapit-hapitan, pada nga iban. nag lang siya sa imo mata. Automatic na converge. So, we can say that this candle will be considered as an object and as well as an image. And images are formed in our first example here because of light rays. Okay, next. In our mirror here, we have here the object na as cord. Okay, so once it hits the mirror, it will bounce back. Bounce back siya. Okay. So, if ang reflected ray niya, ang muna di ang makonverge. Okay, pag-converge, makitaan mo ang image sa sulod sang espiho, sa sulod sang mirror. Now, the reason why the, uh, the images are formed, it is because of the sight lines. So, I hope that you can see the difference between the two. Okay? Okay. So, we have here the plane mirrors. So, we have here the H sub O, D sub O, D sub I, and H sub I. What are these? These are the variables. These are the important variables that we're going to deal with as we study um, geometric optics. So, what, what is this H sub O? So, H sub O, of course, uh, will tell us the height of the object. And the D sub O will give us the distance of the object from where? From the mirror. Again, D sub O measures the distance of the object from the mirror. So, um, we have here the following measurements for the object. Now, how about for the image? So, we have there the H sub I. So, this measures the height of the image. And for the D sub I, of course, This measures the image distance. Distance from where? From the mirror. Okay, so amuna sila. So please take note of these four important variables because we are going to deal much of these as we study geometric optics. So this is for now and we will continue our spherical mirrors on our next video.